breaking news Nigerians. Nigerian army claims troops killed four IPOB stroke ESN members who attacked soldiers with bomb in Anambra recovers arms. Hmm. The Nigerian army had said to that his troop of joint task force, the Southeast Operation Hudoka, to have killed four members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its militant wing, the Eastern Security Network ESN. A statement issued by the acting deputy director, Army Republic Relations, 82 Division, Nigerian Army, Juan, said the separatists ambushed and attacked JTF troops on routine patrol with an improved explosive device, IED, on Thursday, September 28, 2023, along Ukbo Road in Anambra State. During the firefight, the gallant soldiers contended the ambush with the superior firepower, neutralizing one member of the the group, two AK-47 rifles were received at the scene of the firefight, while others escaped into the nearby bushes with various degree of gun shot injuries. On further explanation of the withdrawal routine, three more bodies of IPOB ESN members were recovered who died from gunshot wounds sustained, sustained during the fire fight, he said. Ono Kalo reassured the people of the southeast region of the arms, army's resolve and commitment to restoring lasting peace in the region as it will not relent in the fight to end the security challenges in the zone. The tax force therefore calls on law-abiding and good citizens of the southeast region not to relent in providing timely credible and reliable information which will lead to ending the menace of insecurity occasioned by activities of the group in the region. Operation Udoka 2. We continue combating crime and criminality in accordance with the extant rules and regulations guiding the operations, he added. So guys, what's your take on this? You've all heard it now. Nigerian army has said that his troop of joint task force, the Southeast Operation Udoka 2, have killed four members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its militant wing, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. A statement issued by the acting deputy director, Army Public Relations, 82 Division Nigerian Army, Juan Unulakalu, said the, the separatists ambushed and attacked the JTF troops on routine patrol with an improved explosive device, IED, on Thursday, September 28, 2023, along Ubo Road in Anambra State. He said during the firefight, the gallant troops contained the, the ambush with superior firepower, neutralizing one member of the, the group, the IPOP group. The two AK-47 rifles were recovered at the scene of the fire, the fire a fight while others escaped into the nearby bushes with various degree of gunshot injuries. Hmm. Please, can this so-called army and people of Nigeria answer my question? Who is IPOP and who is ESN? Bandits. Innocent people are going to early grave every day in that country. Thank you, Na Claim. Mazinam the Kanu de Go Supreme Court on the 5th. So make all this your claim be in the, in the north. Whenever Mazinam the Kanu case is approaching, they will start their propaganda just to delay his release. But this time around, they will fail. Hmm. 
Gradually, these people are turning to comedian. No? Keep on claim, Nigerian army, but you people must sit at home on Monday in the East. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. You see, majority of people here are saying that Nigerian army in the Southeast, they are even causing more harm over there. According to them, they said innocent persons are being killed in the name of fighting agitators. Innocent people, they just kill innocent people like that for Southeast. Say that they look for agitators and all that. Hmm. Well, I've said this time with that number. Killing like this and all this war without end in the Southeast, it will not help the, the matter. Since the Nigerian army have started this battle now in the Southeast, has anything changed? See, there is nothing like using uh, love. You they use love anywhere when war day. Now love you tell the quench war. You understand? You know they use you know they use war for war. The approach that is being used in the southeast is escalating the issue over there. And now they now have a kind of criminal gangs. Anything that happens, these criminals, they don't they tag them agitators. You understand? Maybe the real agitators self, they don't even know what they happen with all these killings here and there. But the only thing, the only thing that will solve this problem is massing them the cannon release. By the time this man is released, they themselves in the Southeast, we now understand what is going on. Because right now, they don't understand. Everybody is claiming, uh, agitating for Mazenam the Khan's release. They don't know the criminals. They don't know those who are agitating, you know, for Khan's release and for Biafra. So that is the reason why the federal government should release a man that has been discharged by the court of law, by their court of law. Well, Nigerians, when I don't hear the matter, so I beg, wait till I get to talk, put for this matter, make we hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please.